it's your girl kp and i am back with another vlog y'all let, let's let's just get into it if you're an og to the channel what is up kp squad gang 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 and if you're new to the channel my name is kp yeah yeah okay i'm 24 i'm from rba the real 804 and i'm an entrepreneur working a nine to five so i'm about to get my hair done and i just can't even explain like how excited i am like i don't know like there's not many services where i can actually like feel like i'm being pampered you know like it's a lot of stuff i do for myself some stuff is more of a chore than it is self-care in my opinion however y'all want to call it but i don't know where y'all from but in richmond it started to be very gentrified like it looks so weird out here because it's like you see the hood and then you see some nice houses it's the hood but then you see a coffee shop it's the hood then you see new high-rise apartments like i'm just confused if anybody else is going through the same thing in their city comment down below because it's odd okay but i just wanted to get into my hair before i go inside this might come a little debris yeah i ain't gonna lie i just feel like i am on crack cocaine like what i'm just so tired i done left work today was like smooth i should have recorded it y'all because i went to my old job site and it was just like a vibe key can i linked with this lady and she was giving me like job opportunities like today it's just been like a really really good day and then i'm topping it off with getting my hair done like, i'm just Ah! and like it's not like i've never gotten my hair done because i have gotten my hair done but i've actually never went to a shop to get my hair braided i've always done my hair or i've asked my mom to do it so i don't know i'm just i'm just over excited i'm looking a little crazy i ain't even gonna lie i tried to comb out my hair this morning like a dummy and y'all seen me wash my hair last week and i'm gonna just say this i did not wash my hair good like at all so it's kind of embarrassing how stinky my hair is like my hair literally stinks okay, but i'm gonna make a tiktok of my actual appointment and i'm gonna just catch y'all back when i get out I look so bald from this angle, but look at that there. She did her thing, like, she really did her big one, for real. But I do want to give y'all, like, my full honest review on everything because it's my first time going to the stylist. But um, I give my stylist a 9.8 out of 10. I think she was really cool. Um, I didn't really talk to her, to be honest. Um and she freaked my hair like she really freaked it i think my only con that i would say is that i wish she would have just kind of asked me some more questions of like you know how i wanted them to look i guess because i will say that on like the thinner side um i will say um i definitely should have spoke up and told her that i wanted it longer because i didn't really know what length i wanted and honestly I was hesitant to say what length I wanted because I didn't want her to charge me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I didn't want to pay an extra fee if I was like, yeah, give me waist length braids. So I just said bra strap length, which this is what that is, but it's like super short. So I'm debating, do I want to like add some hair to it myself? Maybe add some beads? I don't know, something. Because right now, it's just giving like dookie, like it is not enough. I think my only con as to how excited I was versus what I got is that I think I have to be real with myself. I don't like beauty salons. Like, I don't like salons where there's like other beauticians or the clients and stuff like that because I don't like the setup. We're sitting right across from like other clients. I can't even look up because I would be looking in their face. And you gotta think about it. Like, I would love to watch another beautician do their client's hair. But now I'm staring in this girl's face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of I don't like. Now I don't like beauticians knowing each other and they like kicking each other, which is fine. But then I feel like I just step back because I'm more of a one on one person. So when I feel like it's too much stimulation going on, I'm like, I think I like how now people are getting like their own room. So, like, a stylist just has their own little room with the washer and everything in there because it's just a one on one thing. I don't have to worry about all this other stuff going on. Okay. You know, I'm trying to start summarizing um, my thoughts, but I think I'm just a paraphraser. Like, stuff that's small, I'm going to drag it out. I mean, I don't know. I just expressing my feelings. But then that's how these videos be an hour long. Because 
I can easily talk for 10 minutes. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> My hair like this is giving like, this is Jersey. <laughs> Dang, I'm, I'm really like, I'm, that really took a lot. All right, I'm about to get in my essence. I gotta go, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Look at all this junk. Child, last night, the way I just said, I don't care. I have an hour before I have to leave the house. Today we have a pop-up shop. So today will be our first pop-up shop of the year. Um, I feel like I haven't done a pop-up shop in so long that I actually forgot how everything goes. I mean, I haven't forgot, but yeah. I'm just having to like get my brain in that space because I really haven't done anything for my business for like a month or so because I was moving. Also, y'all, I got my W-2 yesterday, so fingers crossed, girl. I want to get some money, like... Give me some extra money. Somebody let me know how the tax stuff work because every year I want to get money and I have to pay money. You know what I'm saying? So before I got started with the day, I wanted to show y'all my plants. Okay, so this is what she looked like. Okay. Um, I think I named her Veronica. Okay, that's what she looking like. But we're gonna document her coming back to her full and luxurious life. I'm gonna water her today because I've looked up multiple times how many times I'm supposed to water her. And it just be different things. Like when I left the plant shop, they was like every three weeks. So I don't wanna push it cause she's just looking dry. But I feel like you can easily overwater a pothos. Funny story about Veronica is I tried to repot her and when I did, I separated all the roots. And when I tried to repot it, I planted it too low. So that's why she looked like she falling over the sides instead of sticking up kind of like this one. Um. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just thankful that she still is alive because I really jacked her up at that point. So I think this sprout right here is new. If I'm being honest, it's looking real healthy. But yeah, I just wanted to document what it's looking like right now so that I could see the changes the next time I water her. We in the closet and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear today because honestly, you know, when I go to these pop-up shops, I try to give, like really give to show like, okay, if she can dress, then I'm sure she's selling like a good product. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't, it's hard to buy something from somebody and they don't even look like they up to par. So I gotta make sure I stunt a little bit and I really, really, really wanna take some pictures today. So that's really the vibe. But I got these jeans from um, Fashion Nova. This is Fashion Nova Men, actually. And I'm trying to see what top. I for sure want to wear something from my brand, but I'm torn because I don't know if I should wear a t-shirt or should I wear a sweater. But then I feel like these pop-up shops, I be getting hot, my anxiety be up, I be sweating. You know, it's just kind of like, do I want to set myself up to be sweating? I low key wanted to wear this hat. So like, I'm not quite ready to show my braids yet. I'm not even gonna lie, this is hot right now. I, I, I haven't even left yet. I have this top, but it's an extra small. And I feel like it's a more girly, you know, presenting. It's kind of hard to explain, but I feel like because it's a tighter top, you know, it gives more girl. But I just don't feel comfortable showing 
my abdomen area like my stomach my waist like yeah no so if i do wear this t-shirt i feel like i need to wear a jacket i can wear my leather jacket and i mean it still shows this but i just feel like it's a little less i don't know it just gives more comfort <laughs> I don't want to get canceled. I don't want to get canceled. But like most bigger people don't like to show their arms done like that. So they prefer a jacket. I think I do find comfort in jackets as well. But this could be a look. Uh, I'm not loving it though. Hats or no hats? I might just bring it. I don't know. I'm just so bald. I want to go do rag. That's where I want to go. But I'm going to try to do my eyebrows real quick. Um, I'm going to try this new method. It's not that I need to do my eyebrows, but I just feel like I'm bald. So, I would just feel more comfortable if I do them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just show y'all the finished product because ain't no way. I don't know what I'm doing. It's really scaring me. It actually looks decent on camera, but it's really scaring me in person. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to give natural. I definitely am. Brows can't be messed up and I'm this bald. <laughs> it really can't and I'm this bald. This is what it's giving. I don't know if we're gonna do hat or not, but I gotta pack up like right now. I'm starting to be late. So I gotta do my nails real real quick because it's getting down to the hour where I'm about to be late. Cause I can't be showing people products and you get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a blood in it. Look on the and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, dropping the dump in the stash. I saw my nigga, baby, chill with me. The niggas that fought in the back don't say nothing, the niggas are kill for me. Back as I can on my sleep, on flee. Find a case, pull up my daddy for me. Bitch, I'm a dog in my tree. Hop out the frog and leave. I put them boots in the panel. My bitch, she walk around like she Christian. I used to break in the panel. Then take up one and like the game of temple. It's simple, I'll play with a mental. Mama said she's a bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. No. In the bag of them vegetables, bag of them cookies, it's medical. Cocaine, codeine, etc. Cocaine and lean, it's federal. I take off blending on Nebula. As a natural, the ends on my schedule. You get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a blood in it. The mama a thot, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, dropping the dump in the stash. In Italy, got too far, hoes they deal me. Draw the top when it's cold. So good morning, y'all. I I would have came back on the vlog last night, but y'all, I really just could not get myself together. But 
I just had to really tell y'all what happened yesterday because y'all won't believe this. Like, y'all really won't believe this. So, like y'all saw, I went to the pop-up shop. Um, Realty is, wasn't that many people to come out. Like, she was able to get the vendors out, but, like, as for people to shop, slim to none. But I will say it was, like, cool little vibe. It was nice to meet a few people and, like, you know, just have, like, a good time overall. But things started to go downhill towards the end so y'all this lady is walking around right and i'm sure she's one of the vendors and she was giving out like samples of her drinks so she was like oh y'all want to take a shot so i'm like okay yeah we, we can take a shot because mind you it's like in my head i'm getting a shot of like a mixed drink so it wouldn't even be like a straight shot or nothing like that so we like, yeah, let's take the shot, da 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 She's like, oh, yeah, y'all going to feel a buzz in, like, 15 minutes. So, in my head, I'm just thinking, like, oh, we're going to be tipsy or something because maybe she just makes strong drinks. <sighs> y'all. So, I'm going to go take my shot, and I'm like, you know, because I'm trying to taste the flavor. I really want to taste the flavor to see, like, is her drinks good. Why do I taste weed? Can I say that? Herbs. And then drink, and I said, oh my gosh. This is the playback. <laughs> this is not alcohol. So I'm like, okay, let's just say hypothetically, that was just a little bit. And she said just a little buzz, like we shouldn't be stressed, like we should be straight. So I think mentally because I knew what it was, I felt like my head started hurting. But I'm just like, maybe I'm tripping. Like, you know, it's just like a placebo. Like, you know, you, you feel like you were smoking, so now you think you high. But, like, no. So then this other lady comes around. She's like, do y'all do edibles or something like that? And I'm like, no. Immediately, no. Mm -mm. And Darty is like, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. You could, yeah. You go ahead. But I literally said to the lady, I was like, you, I'm not going to have to drive her home, am I? When she's like, no. This little bit. You don't have to worry. This is a little bit. So, of course, Darty is like, oh, yeah, share with me. Share with me. So, now I'm eating the samples. And one of them, I mean, it really didn't taste like nothing. And then the other one, like that brownie vegan one, you can really taste the herbs in it. And I was like, oh, Lord. But I really didn't, like, I promise y'all, like, Honest to God, I did not even think twice about it because, like I said, I literally asked her, like, is it going to be an issue? Like, is it going to be an issue? But I think also because we had already took that shot before. I mean, I don't know. I really can't tell you. And I feel like coming from people that indulge in that often, I'm sure they had the same reaction like, oh, this is nothing. This is nothing. But for people that don't do this type of thing, like ever <laughs> i just think it had different effects on us but why y'all when i actually get home and it's sitting in the car in front of my building why is my head feeling like it's going slow-mo like me doing this is like low-key like a task like it's like hurting like i'm going through a vortex or something i'm like oh my gosh what's what's really going on so then i got in the house i unpacked myself and i had to even get myself together get, and i even had to get myself together to get out of the car but i know like i was thinking maybe i'm just really really tired because i had been there for hours and i didn't eat so i'm like okay it's giving like i'm i'm giving like pass out like i'm starving i gotta eat and i really haven't had much water today either like just like regular like exhaustion type symptoms that's what i was kind of thinking at first but then when i sat down in here i had already anticipated making my pizza and i sat down on the couch and like my head was just like banging like my head was hurting so bad and it just felt like my head was really really heavy like really really heavy so i just had to lay down so i try to like get myself again i'm eating my food this was like no later than like seven this was like seven i literally barely remember anything else i just remember like i know i felt intoxicated and the fact that you know i didn't drink you know what i'm saying like it's like why am i not sober 
You know, like, why am I not sober right now? Why am I not sober? I don't know what's going on, but why am I not sober? And y'all, I slept from probably like 7. I don't even remember, but I was probably around 7 or so to 11. Like, I was knocked out. Knocked out. So, never doing that again. That was just... That was a freak accident. It's one thing if you like trying to set yourself up like you want to have a late night. But to just be minding your business and you think of everything cookies and cream and then all of a sudden your head spinning like what? And the first thing that came to my head when I was in the car and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't get nauseous. I know that's one of the side effects, like you get nauseous. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to have to throw up tonight because of this. But it didn't hit me like that. I, my head was just hurting and I just laid my tail down. Um, Darty on the other hand, she said she was sick. She said she was sick. And I know her head was hurting like my head was hurting. That was just, I can't believe that. Like they really set us up. Like if y'all into that type of stuff, let me know in the comments if, you know, maybe just cause I don't do that type of stuff. That's why I had these type of effects. Let me know. Okay, but let's move on to something more exciting. And I do want to say, please don't do too much. Cause I know some people like to run with information, but like, oh, Kendra was doing this, Kendra was doing that not too much okay because i didn't have to tell the story i didn't even have to bring up last night but i just wanted to tell y'all what really went on and how shocked i was okay appreciate appreciate the extra information don't take it for granted that's all i'm saying got my prints y'all i finally got my prints so i can hang them up on my wall um a while back i got these frames from michael's they was on discount that's why i just grabbed them but i'm gonna make a tiktok as well let me get my scissors i got my prints from thoroughly created and i don't want to expose the thank you card but i mean the discount code but yeah real cute i ain't gonna lie i did have to wait a month to get these so yeah I don't know this this type of art is hard to come by for a decent price because i don't know the girlies be charging quite a bit of money because i canvas had like a lot of cute prints on there but the prices wasn't getting me. This was the inspo. Oh, I said, who else that I do pretty good so with the hanging. I'll just be winging it. She's bald. She's really, really bald. I think I had a right head for it, to be honest. My hairline is just a little too far back. But I think I've decided on beads for the ends. Um, I was going to add more hair, but let's not ruin all the hard work that was put in so it'll be looking like the bathroom so i bought these beads i want to use the shells to put on my lock that's my rubber band i didn't get the little feeder
Let's get it. Throw that mask on when you jump out first. You better blast. Yeah. We don't like slow shit. Don't hit them switches. Fast. Ain't gon' lie to city. How with strikers? They don't last. When you pop in with your killers, you better check your gas. We don't party on other blocks. They fuck with other ops. Let's get it. They come around like you gang. They got your brother shot. You say his name inside the song. They got your brother hot. Let's get it. my show to talk to y'all but the food I'm gonna give it a six out of ten um my brother came over here my brother came over here for a second while I was cooking and it was saying that um if you didn't want the overpowering truffle butter taste then don't put the whole packet in there and I feel like that's where I messed up. Because I just think it's just too, it's too, like, pungent. I honestly don't think I like mushrooms. I keep on trying them. I don't think I like them. Y'all see my nails lasted pretty long. This one literally just came off, like, an hour ago. But, y'all see, this still got the paint stains on it and everything. So, they've been really, like, holding on, but... These nails literally break. Like, literally break. Not, like, off my finger, but, like, they break. <sighs> I did want to show y'all, though. My eczema has improved, honey. It has improved. Let me see if I can show y'all. Real quick. Real quick. Get it quick. Look. Can't even see it for... I mean, it's a little... My skin is dry. But look how good it looks dry, too. Dry and crusty. This you can barely see. Look. Look at that. You can barely see it. This side really didn't look as bad, but it's nice and flat. Like, yes. 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 Now I can take my bathing suit picture. So I got to tell y'all some news. But let me clean up first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, girl. See y'all next week. I will be on vacation. Period. <laughs> it's very impromptu. <laughs> the way I don't really have money to be traveling, but I'm about to be traveling. It's my first time out of the country. Can y'all guess where I'm going? I'm going to just say I'm going to an island in the Caribbean and this is my first time out of the country. I'm just like, I'm excited, but I'm like nervous and like, I don't know, this is like going through my head because I really didn't do that much preparation. Y'all will see there'll be some other content before the travel vlog, but I'm just so excited. Okay, so before we end the video, I wanted to address this because I feel like maybe I'm not the only one that's thinking like this or has had like similar trials let's say that because i always forget to put it in the videos but i always think about it when i'm editing but honestly and truly my channel is small okay like it's i have less than 500 subscribers and i have less than a thousand of course which i would need to be monetized so i can make money from my videos right so like when i'm recording and i'm editing and doing all this stuff and like going in grinding you know like i'm a full-time influencer it's like it's really something i like to do and i just foresee me doing this and i've already spoke on it that like you know i do feel like i can make this a career and that's why i'm like going in so hard but i also notice like i'm not even getting like that support if that makes sense like that's not i'm not going to sit up here and act like oh my subscriber count does not bother me okay but let's just call it what it is like i just want to get my paycheck you know i'm not asking for a bonus i'm not asking for benefits i'm not asking for none of that i'm just asking for my simple paycheck so for the work that i put in i just want to get my paycheck <laughs> I really think about it in a certain light only because like I feel like I'm not famous like I'm not famous I'm not well known I'm not even locally well known I'm not 
a local celebrity or nothing like that i'm not TikTok famous i'm not famous on instagram like i'm just not a famous person i'm just a regular regular person because my views went up a little bit for my empty house tour and i knew they were because people are just nosy i try to put it in some previous vlogs of like how many times it takes me to actually record a good clip um that's not having that's <laughs> where i don't have to do so many jump cuts because if y'all notice i do a lot of jump cuts it's because i stutter it's because i don't know how to pull my words together i don't know how to bring the thoughts of my mind out to y'all but yeah that's just my outlook on it i hope that's making sense the three points is that my subscriber count is low the second point is mostly because i'm not famous and third point is that i'm not letting up i'm staying on y'all girls next because i know i can do this i love showing y'all some good ass content because i can do this i have an eye for it i have a vision even though y'all i've been talking to the camera for so long and i still struggle to put my words out so i don't know i can't even i can't even say well, i'm gonna practice and it's gonna be easier because i'm trying to give y'all a story that's what the girls recommended giving y'all a storyline hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel so i that's so scary if you're not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're doing just subscribe so i can get my paycheck i'm just trying to I'm just trying to make my paycheck okay um but without further ado i will see y'all in the next one dude i feel like this vlog was a little dry but i think the highlight was the high like <laughs> i feel like i don't want to let y'all go i don't want to let y'all leave i don't have anything else i didn't take a nap today Mm, I'm glad them um, herbs didn't take me out today. It was left in yesterday. Oof. <laughs>